Well, welcome once again to the uh, Belfry High School Gymnasium tonight for the uh, 60th District Tournament, the uh, finals of the 60th District for the girls. The boys is, well, that's already uh, decided, Charlie, and uh, tonight we'll see who the championship is uh, going to go to for the girls. That's true. Should be an interesting matchup here. Uh, we saw these two teams play earlier, Pike Central and Belfry, as it went to a two-point ball game down to the wire. And it looks like we're going to go to the national anthem here from the Pike Central Band. You should be able to hear that one, though, as they're right behind us. Mm -hmm. Let's bow for prayer, please. Our Father, we come to you at this time humbly before you. God, so thankful for all the many blessings that you've bestowed on us. We know that you're with us, God, even when we don't think of you. And we just thank you so much for that. We ask your blessings at this time, God, on everyone here, especially God, on the participants in this game tonight. We ask to with these players, these cheerleaders, the officials, all the ones who are participating, God, keep them injury free. And God, be with us as, as spectators that we can conduct ourselves in a sportsmanlike way. And God, as we leave this game tonight, we just ask that you go with us, that you see us all safe with your homes. God, we just ask forgiveness for all the many shortcomings that we're guilty of. We just ask God that you just continue to bestow your blessings on the poor and lost everywhere. In Jesus' name. So we have the pregame ceremonies for uh, this contest here tonight. Just about set for the uh, introduction of their lineups. As we were talking about uh, back of the season, Charlie and I were here uh, for a game between these two teams. The starting lineups being introduced right now. Yeah, looks like it'll be Haley Ratliff, number five for Buck County Central. I think that is Mache Weddington, number 22. Number 25, Tiffany Thompson. And number 23, Ashley Russell. Uh, number 40, Kim Coleman will be the starters now for Buck County Central. And now for the Lady Pirates from Belfry High School. Of course, Pike Central coached by Tammy Tussie. Belfry over here coached by Mark Gannon, and we're just about ready for now, the starting the lineup. Starting lineup for the Belfry Lady Pirates. And here comes the 
Give up the starting lineup. Starting in a forward, number five, Vicky Hall. Both of these teams very young. Another junior, number 21, Anna Bevan. For Belfry. At guard. Another junior, number three, Emma Smith. At forward, number 10, senior, Amanda Hensley. Maybe the only senior on the floor tonight. And center, number 24, Lindsey Mahan. And, you know, we talked about that earlier. Pike Central, I don't think they have a senior on the team that'll start. So both teams, between the 10 of them, there's only one senior on the floor, though. We were wondering about uh, Mahan the other night, and she is a junior, we just now found out. So uh, still uh, a lot of years left in uh, these two teams before they graduate. And as we said uh, earlier this season, we came over here and watched a uh, Really close ball game between these two teams. We expect a dandy here tonight. Do want to? I did make a mistake before we even get started. Ashley Russell is a senior for Pike County Central. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that wouldn't be Ashley's mom right in front of us, would it? No. What? It might be. Uh, uh, it's Ashley's mom on the back. It's a good <laughs> thing I thought of that, isn't it? Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> well, I like Belfry's uniforms here tonight. A little bit different. The uh, Lady Pirates come out in their uh, bright red uniforms. They look uh, fairly new and just about ready to go. It's Vicki Hall that'll jump it up along with Russell for uh, Pike Central and the uh, game is underway. And just like that, we've got the ball out of bounds and it's gonna go to Pike Central. This little gal will be a big factor in this game. We're talking about uh, Haley Ratliff, who I believe Charlie in the game that we saw him play uh, had like 27 points that night. I believe that's the correct number. And the shot put up good from about 18 feet by Thompson. So Pike Central draws first blood. Vicki Hall down to the baseline on the left side. Mahan puts it in and answers. So uh, two to two now our score. Ratliff up across to Thompson slapped away. Hall comes up with the steal, headed the other way. Vicki Hall stops with the 10 footer. No good, bouncing off. Underneath, it's Pike Central on the rebound. Coleman comes out with it, up the floor. Pike Central works the ball very well down to the left side of the basket. That's Weddington, she's fouled. And it'll be on Emma Smith, her first, team's first, as great job by Fox Central getting the ball up the floor quickly. Of course, you got to give Belfry, both teams come to play, the nice steal and drive in there by Vicki Hall. Yes, indeed. Weddington on the line for two shots, free throw, no good. Well, we saw the other night, Charlie, uh, Belfry came out, I think, against Phelps, although they won that game. Uh, they looked a little uh, lackadaisical, I guess, a little sluggish that night. Yeah, you so, know, second free throw good. Knowing they were playing a team that they had uh, handled easily earlier, I think a little, a little flat. That could be uh, the case here. Pass uh, attempted for uh, Mahan, slapped out of bounds. It goes back to Belfry. Both teams playing a tough defense in the middle here early. Smith will toss it in. It's Mahan who uh, takes it on the run, misses the shot, rebounded off by Pike Central Weddington. And the left-handed layup is good. Five to two, Pike Central. Hall, Russell tries to knock it away. Almost had the steal. The pass to the backcourt picked up by Smith out there. She calls the play. Pass down to uh, the right side. Put up no good by Hensley. Rebounded off by Pike Central. Now it's loose and a tie-up is called between the uh, Hall and Thompson of Pike Central. It will go to uh, Belfry this time. Tell you what, though, both teams really going to the boards hard. Well, actually, Pike Central has out rebounded Belfry three to nothing here early. Belfry with the basketball. I think Pike Central has a little bit more size, although Mahan is uh, fairly tall in the middle for Belfry. And there's Bevins with the three. Boom! I tell you, Bevins gets off to a good start. She can really fill it up. Yes, she can. We saw that the other night. And anytime you see these girls play, slapped away. 
Almost had a steal there, Belfry, but uh, losing out, it out of bounds. Uh, oh, off. It's going to be a foul call. Okay. And it'll be on Tiffany Thompson of Pike County Central, so they did get the steal there. Thought uh, Smith lost it out of bounds, but the foul was called. and Looked like she stepped on the line from here. I agree with you. Five to five, all tied up. 6.05 left here in the first quarter. Bevins from uh, the other side of the floor. No good on the three-point shot. Off to Russell on the rebound. Pike Central controls down across the line. Ratliff in the corner. Put up. Good. That is, uh, is that Birchfield, Birchfield in the lineup? Yes. So it's eight to five. Here's Bevins on the uh, Belfry end of the court. No good. Mahan, no good. And a foul. And it'll be on number 40, Kim Coleman, her first, first team second. 40, Kim Coleman, her first and the team second. First rebound of the day for Belfry. It comes into Hall. She dribbles it off the foot, look like, and out of bounds. It goes to Pike Central. I wasn't sure she didn't dribble it off the foot of a Pike Central player, but I guess I was <laughs> mistaken. Eight to five, Belfry on top of this game. And to put up no good on the other side. It will go out of bounds. Actually, it's Pike Central on top of this game. I was looking at the scoreboard, saw home up there tonight. To Pike Central, the home team on the board. I guess they go. I don't know how you figure that. I guess they draw for it, probably. Yeah, that's uh, the way the brackets, brackets are worked out. laid out. So Pike Central in the white tonight. And the bounce it comes, and boom, another three by Birchfield. So she's hot coming off the bench. 11 to 5, Pike Central. Vicki Hall on the move into the paint. Dishes off down low. Mahan misses the shot inside. Rebounded off by Brown, who's in the lineup now. Taylor Brown gets it out. And Birchfield across the line. Ratliff has to run it down. She takes it down to the baseline, tries to uh, pass it off, but a foul is called on the Lady Pirates. And it'll be Hensley. That'll be the first on Hensley, the second team foul. Ratliff on the strike, the free throw on the way, good. Jamie Hunter checking in now for Belfry. Real hustler, I think uh, Hunter yep. is. Second free throw bouncing off no good and Brown will rebound and put it in. Fourteen to five. Bank Central up in this game. 440 left to play in the first quarter. Evans over to the right hand side. On the dribble Smith works to the left picks it up now. Gives it down to Hall over Brown with the shot no good. And the little gal, Ratliff, claims the rebound for Pike Central. Running up to Weddington. She fakes. Goes up too hard. On the other side, Ratliff saves it inbounds to Brown. And now we'll get a tie-up between uh, Brown and Hunter. And it will go to Pike Central. And <laughs> like I said the other night, uh, somewhat jokingly, but uh, Hunter is always around the basketball. She'll make a play of some sort, seems like. Absolutely. And there's Ratliff, the three will not go on the right side. Rebounded off by Hall and uh, a call, uh, maybe a timeout here. Looks like it'll be a timeout, Belfry. And let's see. 30 second timeout, we'll keep it right here. Pike Central leading it 14 to five, a nine point advantage in Bo. I think there's one number that'll really tell you what that is. Eight or eight rebounds to one in this ball game. No second shots coming up for Belfry as they've They've been a little bit cold from the floor, and Pike Central been able to pull it off the glass. Well, they've missed some good shots down inside, too. Mahan's got to settle down a little bit. She's had a couple of good shots inside and, and missed them. And uh, she didn't start uh, for Belfry back at the beginning of the season, but worked her way into the lineup. And uh, so uh, that's, that's going to be a factor. She's going to have to get her feet tonight. Hard pass over to the left-hand side. Hensley working into the paint and knocked away, picked up in there. That's Hunter who picks up the loose ball and she'll go to the yep. free throw line. I think Taylor Brown will pick up the foul. It will be. It'll be Brown's first, the team's third, and 
just as you said earlier, wherever the basketball is at, you'll find Jamie Hunter. Seems that way. You know, one uh, problem with Belfry, of course, is something that I watch all the time is their passing. Uh, sometimes they uh, make some bad passes and uh, almost uh, lost the basketball there, but the loose ball was picked up as Hunter puts it in, and she'll have another free throw. That one right on the money also. So Jamie Hunter steps up to the line and connects on two, makes it 14 to seven now. Birchfield up across the stripe, and uh, there's a, a bad pass. It's almost stolen away, but Durant, with a lot of hustle, takes it back down to Russell and puts it up, no good, and uh, gets it back and puts it in on the second attempt. <laughs> Ashley Russell. 14 to 9 now. Down to the left hand side. Over to Smith on the wing. Gives it over to Hensley. Bevins for the three. Boom! Anna Bevins with her second tray of the evening. I tell you, Pike Central with balanced scoring. They've got six players already in the scoring column. 14 to 11 as uh, Belfry's cut it down to a three-point game now. And right up the floor, we talked about Belfry's passing. Pike Central showing a little bad passing of their own. It goes to the paint. That's Emma Smith who takes it right in front of the bucket and puts it in. And looks like Pike Central's going to want a timeout to talk about it here. I believe. I don't yeah, know. They look a little bit ragged right now also. They're yep. taking a timeout. I don't know. If they're both teams are <laughs> off to the sideline. I've not seen a timeout call by either by the officials here. I don't know. Must have been a quick one, though. I never saw them make a signal. I didn't either. They snuck it in, though. Well, it must have been a clock problem. They were looking up at it. 16 to 11 is your score. Actually, it should be 16 to 12, I thought. But, uh, that's what I got. I've got 12. Well, evidently, that was not a three by Anna Bevins. That's not a bad. Maybe that's what the question was down there. Down to the baseline, Brown. He gives it out to Russell, who puts in the shot. Russell with about a 10-footer. That must have been the question there. They must have put up uh, three points when it should have been two. Now there's really a problem with the uh, scoreboard. There's Hunter. Jumper, baseline right side, won't go. Brown rebounds. The lob across to Rattler. Gets it up across the line. Birchfield down in the corner, back out to Rattler. Rattler working to the right side. Hard pass down to uh, Taylor Brown. It spins off the rim. Going to the floor along with Jamie Hunter. Tie up. There's that girl again. Yeah. Brown wanted a foul call. Now the official will call the timeout here. So we'll try to figure out what's going on here with the scoreboard. They talk to the bookkeeper. I have it as 18 to 11. Let's see what the score. I guess that's correct. So that must have been a two by Bevins. Had to be because it's the only difference we've got. So. Yeah. So we'll mark off one of her twos and give her five points instead of six. Bevins and 18 to 11 the scores. Pike Central has the lead by seven and uh, Belfry has the ball. Bevins down the hall, back out to Bevins, over to Hensley straight away now to uh, Emma Smith. One dribble and then she goes down to the corner to Hensley. Hensley driving the baseline and passes in underneath to Hall. A lot of traffic and a foul though on Pike Central. Taylor Brown will pick up her second team sport. Team and it'll send Vicki Hall to the line to shoot two. A little different uh, the positioning on the free throw line for Vicki Hall. Didn't help her that time. She uh, stands all the way over to the left side of the uh, strike there. So it remains at 18 to 11, but uh, Hall will have another opportunity here. And now it's 18 to 12. Now my book's right. <laughs> Two minutes exactly left here in the first quarter. Six point lead. Pike Central, the home team here on the Belfry Court. It goes down to Weddington. And Russell now driving, puts it up, rolling off. No good underneath. Hunter 
Had a hand on it, and it goes out of bounds uh, off Pike Central, they say, but I thought Hunter definitely touched it last. I have to agree with you, Bo. <laughs> but we've got a different point of view, I guess, from up here than they do. Yeah, the official was real close to that play, so I guess he saw something we didn't. Double dribble called against Belfry, and it goes over to Pike Central. Maybe he had second thoughts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see the instant replay on that one. Yeah. Well, it's 18 to 12 still with a minute 30 left in the first quarter as the Rattler gets down across the line all the way down to the hoop and lays it in. They didn't contest it too much. And she said, if you're yeah. going to give it to me, I'll take it. Eight point lead now, Pike Central. Evans with the three, no good, bouncing off. A little Rattler crashing the board. Gets it out. Long pass over the head of everyone out of bounds. It goes back to Belfry. Tell you what, Bo, still only one rebound here in the first quarter for Belfry. Well, Pike, well, Pike Central will just clean the boards 10 to 1 here. Well, right now, Mahan's not even in the lineup, and that's the tallest girl that they've got, so they're really small in there. Hunter is uh, now playing uh, the post position, but I don't think she's as tall. Maybe pretty close, but not quite as tall as Mahan. Hensley has it, but when you let uh, a little gal like Ratliff crash the board on you, there's uh, Bevins, misses the shot, and uh, Hunter had the rebound, but she went to the floor. And she'll be called for steps. Turns it over to Pike Central. Still, though, every every play, her name's going to be called, seems like, and uh, there's the pass out of bounds, and touch last by Belfry, so they'll try it again side court. Another bad pass there by Pike Central, too. And right now, Pike Central has the numbers. Missing the shot, Russell, but there to put it back in is Coleman on the rebound. <laughs> Almost stolen away. Russell with some nice hustle does steal the ball and gets it up to Weddington. And uh, apparently on the line. Turns the favor. Yeah. Back to Belfry with 33.4 seconds. Mary Beth Johnson in there handling the ball, gets it over to Bevins. Out to Hensley, drops it, and uh, Page uh, low in there now. Almost have the steal for Pike Central. Johnson out deep, 18 seconds left. Down to Bevins, driving the baseline on the left side. It hooks it up there, no good. And all the rebound Coleman for Pike Central. Gets it out to Birchfield with seven seconds. And the three by Weddington too hard. On the other side, there's Vicki Hall, and she is going to be fouled with .1 second. Lowe will pick up the personal foul. I'm sure Coach Tussie not very happy about that. Just a bump, uh, a pretty good bump, though, and some contact made. No, uh, no shots here. It'll be taken out of bounds by Belfry with .1 second. And uh, that's going to end the quarter. Certainly unable to get off the shot there. As Pike Central leads by 10 after 1, 22 to 12. We'll be back with the second quarter on the Intermountain Sports Network. <laughs> oh, you're not going to believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird. We never get hacked. Nope. No, we don't. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Smart devices make our lives better, but they're also susceptible to hackers. That's why Plume helps identify when a device is acting strange. You mean like talking to itself for no reason? I'm talking to the audience. We live in a modern, connected world. 
Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Belfry High School, 22 to 12, as Pike Central up by 10 here, Bo, and uh, I don't know, Belfry just come out a little bit flat, I believe, again this evening. Yeah, it seems that way. We were talking during the break there, and Belfry's got to pick it up a little bit here because they're already down by 10, and boom, there's one way to do it as uh, Vicki Hall drew some mind, but she got the three-pointer. 22 to 15, low up to Russell. And uh, Coleman takes the pass, misses it, gets a rebound, puts it back in. She was actually bumped as she put it back up, but she'll take the two. 24 to 15 the score. Belfry with it now. Out to Hunter, over to Bevins, down to uh, Johnson, who missed it badly and uh, trying for the rebound. Coleman, she loses it out of bounds and would have been better off to just let that go. Yep. Yeah, you're right. There was nothing but it was an air ball. Didn't, yeah. even draw, didn't even draw a rim. Would have definitely gone out of bounds. Evans gets it inbounds to Johnson. Now to Smith. Down to the right side of Evans with the three. Boom! Now if she has two threes. Paige Low loses it. Uh, oh, I thought she lost it out of bounds. I didn't I see Evans there either. Touch last by Evans, uh, apparently. So Pike Central keeps it. Birchfield into the circle, back out, picks up the dribble, gives it off to Rattler. Down to Coleman, who works to the hoop, puts it up, no good. Paige Lowe will go to the floor on the shot and uh, out of bounds. Now it's going to be a foul. But a foul is called. And Dickie Hall over the back, I believe. It'll be the third on Belfry, only the first on Hall. Substitutions coming in. Alan Thacker coming in for Belfry. She doesn't play a whole lot for this team, but we saw her play a little bit the other night. And boom, the three-pointer by Russell. Waiting. Was it? I think so. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Wellington. Okay. 22. Yeah, they both got those uh, similar hairdos and similar numbers. Yeah, they do. To say we got a timeout here. I I guess we'll just keep it here, but I don't know if it's a full or 30. We, I wasn't looking. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure the officials are letting us know, but I started to say there a, a while ago, uh, Fallon Thacker, haven't seen her play a lot for this Belfry team, uh, but the other night had a pretty good game against uh, Phelps and looked fairly good there late in the ballgame, so they're letting her uh, get into the game here tonight just to see what uh, she can do because they definitely need somebody to come in and pick them up. Yeah, that's true. You know, then... Nine point lead again by Pike Central. They've had it into double digits before this evening, though. Belfry has it down by nine. It's Smith with it out deep. Down to the right side. The pass goes to Bevins. Goes in for a wild looking shot. And that's one thing you don't want to do when yep. you're down. And it goes out of bounds. It goes to Pike Central, hit the top of the board. I guess you have to call that a turnover. It's never hit anything but the uh, out of bounds line. Long pass up the floor. There's Russell putting it up and good. She's hard to do anything with when she gets open in the, in the open court like that. And down low, Vicki Hall works her way inside and puts it in. Rattler facing up across the line. And Russell on the right side puts it in. Give her eight and pack simple up by 11. Johnson with it over to uh, Smith and Smith's three-pointer no good. Russell tries to get the rebound, but Vicki Hall claims it and a foul on Pike Central. It'll be on Thompson. She doesn't like the call, but she will pick it up anywho. 
It'll be her second. Team number six, but that's on the floor. And it'll be Belfry Ball. Kim Coleman checking back in for Thompson here as uh, Belfry inbounds the ball. The lob into Hall, and no good, short. Man, they've missed a lot of inside shots. Yes, High central have. controls. Low puts it in. Guess we could say the littlest hop. Yeah. <laughs> Johnson over to uh, Smith now. Smith had a good look at the three that time, didn't take it. Becky Hall in, in a lot of traffic had it knocked away. Belfry comes up with it. Bevins down uh, underneath the basket, and a foul is called. I think that's going to be on Russell. It'll be her first. Team number seven, so that puts Belfry in the bonus. And checking in for Belfry now, we have 33, Brittany Chapman, and number 44, Natasha Combs. So, little used players seeing a lot of time here as Mark Gannon may be trying to send some messages to his players. That and just trying to find a combination here tonight. Something that works. Free throw, no good. Rebounded off, though. Thacker puts it up, no good. Loose on the floor this time, Coleman. And the pass up to uh, Weddington, who had to wait on the ball, but still had a step on the defense and lays it in. Bevins on the other side of the floor. On the left side, spins out on the three. Coleman comes up with it. 15-point lead right now. Pike Central running with the ball. Ratliff, a little bit out of control, but the foul will be called against Belfry. Looks like it'll be Emma Smith. It'll be her second. Personal against number three. Team number four. Team number four. It's in Haley Ratliff. Line four two. Haley You said the littlest hawk, and I, being a no bugs bunny cartoon fan, <laughs> foghorn leghorn, yep. uh, thinking a little chicken hawk. Yep. Free throw no good by Ratliff. <laughs> She's like a giant killer out there too. <laughs> Second free throw, bounces out, misses a couple free throws. That's not like her. Bevins, nice hustle, goes to the floor, claims the rebound, gets it out to a teammate. Down to the right-hand side, the uh, three-pointer put up no good by Combs, and Belfry fired up the threes with no uh, success. Maybe they should try something a little different. <laughs> Low goes to the floor. I thought she might have been hurt, but uh, I guess she's okay. No, maybe not. She's uh, still thinking about it as it goes out of bounds. And a foul. And Shea Weddington will pick up the foul. It'll be her Michelle second. Weddington team number eight. I guess Lowe's going to stay in there. I thought she might have been shaken up a little bit. She hit the floor down there. Shea Weddington's first. I, I can't read very well. Now she's going to leave the game as uh, Birchfield comes back into the lineup. I believe in that game that we saw up here uh, the last time that they played uh, as the free throw is no good by Combs. A tie up on the rebound. I believe uh, Ratliff had 16 points at halftime of that game. Yeah. I do have that wrote down from the uh, last time. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have the same book, so I don't know. But I think she ended up with uh, in the upper 20s. Uh, we, she got 27 the other night here. Weddington uh, off balance, fired it up, and no good. Got her rebound somehow, and now we've got a foul. I believe Ashley Russell tipped that one back out to her, and the foul will go on Anna Bevins, her first, team number five. Belfry's certainly not getting any bounces at all. Everything's going right back to Pot Central, the ricochets off the rims and whatever. 20 to 7, the rebounding wow. score. 20 to 7. Weddington on the line, fires up the left-handed shot that's good. Well, she shoots a flat basketball, doesn't she? How many like she? a line drive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How many she got there, Charlie? I have her with nine. Okay. Second free throw, trying for ten. It's no good. It kicks off to the right side. This time, uh, Belfry does get a bounce off the rim. Brittany Chapman comes up with a rebound now. A bunch of contact on the side. Let's see who it's going to go against. Uh, probably uh, Birchfield. No. Nope. First one, Vicky Hall. Wow. Team number six. Well, so I guess uh, Birchfield stole the ball, they say, and then uh, Vicky Hall fouled, but I think she may have pushed her out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. 
And let's well, see. I thought, was going to have over, I thought he was going to have a turnover, but I guess it's going to be another foul. I certainly missed the contact there. Not saying that there wasn't any, yeah. but I missed it I if there was. See it. You're right. Chapman picks up the foul, and Wellington goes to the line. And we're in the bonus for both teams. Still with nine points, and uh, there's her tenth. First person in double figures on the night. Second free throw. It's no good this time, and Vicki Hall claims the rebound. Just went in and took it. Hall all the way down the floor, stops and pops. Good. I think that's the first time I've said that all year. <laughs> 37 to 22. Ratliff running now down the paint and no good. A foul on the floor. Uh, Emma Smith looks like it's on her. Yep. I didn't see the foul, but I saw her argument of it, so I figured it was her. She wasn't happy with the call, so. And uh, surprise on the scoreboard, I think. Uh, 15 point lead for Pike yeah. Central, of course. They're a very good team. They've impressed me every time I've seen them. Free throw good. He was one of four until that point, make her two of five. And good again. Thirty-nine to twenty-two. Vicky Hall got fouled there, no call, and out of bounds. It'll go to Pike Central. Did you see the contact there? I thought she got fouled, but. But uh, the three officials on the floor, and none of them called it. And now we got the substitutions coming in for Belfry. It'll be Hensley, Bevins, and Johnson coming back into the ball game. Still haven't been able to uh, find the right combination there. Coach Gannon's still looking here. 17 point lead. Who would have thought it? Uh, thought this game was going to be knocked down, drag out. Of course, there's still a long way to go. Belfry certainly could get back into the game, but so far it's just not happening. Long lob up the floor. Russell uh, gives it off now. Coleman out to oh, and it's Birchfield. I saw the zero out there. Couldn't uh, couldn't see the, yep. the two, but th that's her third three, isn't it? Yes, sir. Slapped away. It'll go out of bounds, but back to Belfry. So Birchfield with nine points in the game and all on three-pointers. That's the fourth three of the half for Pike County Central. And it comes to Bevins, a 20-point lead for Pike Central. Johnson down low, Bevins underneath, good. Bevins going to have to step it up, I believe, in this game for Belfry. Birchfield might have been open there. Yeah, I thought she should have put it up. <laughs> Russell inside now, puts it up and rolls off. Russell tries for the rebound, but a foul is called. Yeah, I think it's Russell over the back. Will be the case. And a good call. She did go back up after the ninth team foul down Pike County Central. Team number nine. And one more will put Belfry into the double bonus here. Lady number 33. Brittany Chapman. Brittany Chapman with two here. Cut that lead down just a little bit more. It's now a 17 point game. Was up to 20 there. Second free throw, too high this time. Kicks off the rim and Belfry all will claim it. it. Yeah, Belfry with the rebound. Let's see what they can do inside. Evans, no good. A foul. Boy, are they calling them close now? It is uh, Coleman. Probably was a foul inside there. It'll be her second, team second. number 10. I'm seeing Anna Bevins is to shoot two regardless. But we are certainly picking up a bunch of them, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> Bevins back up to the strike. Free throw good. Give her 11 and she's in double figures now. Second free throw good. Forty-two to twenty-seven, so they've cut it down to fifteen. They've cut five points off of that twenty-point lead. Ratliff, lob pass, horrible pass. That'll get you back into the game if you throw it away like that. Hensley wanted a walk call. 
Johnson puts up the three. No good. That didn't help Belfry's cause. Russell rebounds. Tries to get it up to Birchfield. Johnson with some uh, nice hustle yeah. there. Probably saved two points. Number four, Paige Lowe. Returns to Paige Lowe will give Haley Ratliff a break. And it'll be Jamie Hunter coming in for Brittany Chapman. I see Hunter in the lineup. If I'm Belfry right now and I'm behind like that. On the dribble is Weddington uh, trying to find somebody to give it to. And Paige Lowe tries to help out. Let's see. It goes out of bounds. Goes. He'll stay with Fox Central. Okay. I was wondering there. I think these officials are making their uh, calls too evident. Yep. Down to Weddington. She drives the baseline. She's fouled. That'll be Hunter. Well. That'll be Hunter's first. Team number nine for Belfry. Ready to get the line for one and a bonus. I guess the contact was with the chest. Yep. Huh? Three of six. <laughs> she had her hand straight up in the air. I don't know. Weddington on the line puts it up. Bouncing. Wouldn't go. I'm not going to go there, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Another one on the way. And it's good this time. Well, I didn't know how else to put it. I mean, <laughs> certainly didn't slap at the yeah. ball or anything. No, she did. I, you must have got it with the ball. The body, you're correct. 43 to 27. Two minutes left here in the half. Belfry with the basketball down by 16 right now. Break into the basket. Bevins missed it. Another easy one. Hunter no good. Hunter no good. And but uh, she's fouled on the second attempt. I tell you, she she is a battler on the boards, and that's what they need right now. Russell will pick up her third, so she'll have to take a seat, I would imagine. Maybe I'm seeing something that nobody else is seeing, but I, I'm really impressed with her. I like the way she yeah. plays. Maybe she's free throw or foul prone. I don't know, but she misses the free throw. She'll get another opportunity here. Out at 49 remaining, second free throw on the way, and this one bounces in. We get a three out of four. Yep. 43 to 28, Pike Central, as uh, Ratliff didn't rest very long. She's back in the game right now, playing the point. Her and Lowe both in the game. Takes it up, gives it down to Thompson, works out to the right side. Thompson looking now, intensely all over her, gets it out to Ratliff. He's picked up by Johnson, and Johnson will uh, get the reach-in foul. Bunch of fouls in this game. And that will be on number 12, Mary Beth Johnson, her first. Team number 10, so both teams now shooting the double bonus. Ratliff is three of six. Bouncing, got, got the roll there. Shooter's touch, I guess, both. attention, please. The tournament sponsors will need to report to the scores table at halftime. Second free throw, good. sponsors, please report to the scores table at halftime. 45 to 28, the three-pointer put up. Left side, air ball. Bevins claims the rebound. Gets it out to Hensley to Hunter. Hunter scores. Basket by Jamie Hunter. 45 to 30, and right now they've cut it back to 15 again. And at 10 left here in the quarter. Still plenty of time left in this game. It would be interesting to see what uh, goes on in the locker room at halftime with the speeches that will take place. Of course, we won't get to see that. There's Birchfield. Puts up the three on the left side. Kicks off over to uh, Ratliff, who runs it down. Down low to Thompson. She backs out a little bit. Puts it up. No good. There's Coleman using her uh, size inside. Puts up the shot. And uh, foul on uh, Belfry. It'll be Hunter. That'll be the second on Jamie Hunter. That'll send Coleman to the line to shoot two. Shooting two. No good by Coleman. Trying to think who used to shoot that way at the free throw line. Maybe Shaq 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Not good form. Coleman uh, will try to get here. That one goes. 46 to 30. Johnson over to Smith. The three-pointer won't fall in, and there's Ratliff claiming the rebound. Belfie's missing a lot of threes. Long pass, and barely uh, getting a hand on it is low, as Belfry will get it after the turnover. Low needed to be a couple inches taller to be able to pull that one in. Report to the scorer's table. They believe in the outlet pass, that's for sure. I rebound, you get down the floor. I'll try to get it to you. 46 to 30 right now. See if Belfry will try to do something besides shoot a three here, but goes down to Bevins, over to Smith. She'll go for the three. Boom! Well, if it, if it works, they just haven't been hitting them. Yeah. I guess you got to keep shooting them, though. If they uh, leave you open, you got to put it up. That's the only logical thing. It's Ratliff on the right side. Oh, good, and she will go to the line. How we're going against Mary Beth Johnson. And I tell you, Bo, you just have to say that it's her night when she puts one like that up and it goes in. Exactly what I was thinking. You know, things go are going your way. Free throw's no good, and uh, Bevins gets the rebound, fires it down the floor at the buzzer, and it will be a 15 point lead at halftime here as uh, they go to the locker room. Bell Belfry trailing on their home court, although they're the guest on the scoreboard. The Pike Central up 48 to 33 at a halftime of tonight's championship for the girls in the 60th district. We'll be back with the halftime statistics on the Inner Mountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home the ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. And welcome back to Belfry High School. It's halftime, but Pike Central leads 48 to 33 in a bit of a shocker here, Bo, as I thought it would be a tight ball game all the way down to the wire. Pike Central coming out strong on the boards. They've out-rebounded Belfry 24 to 15 by a nine-point or nine-rebound advantage. Turnovers are even at seven apiece. The Pike Central doing a good job balance scoring. There's eight players in the scoring column now for the Hawks. Mache Weddington leads Pike Central with 11, nine for Haley Ratliff. Uh, eight for Ashley Russell, five for Kim Coleman, two for Tiffany Thompson, nine also for Elizabeth Birchfield, two for Taylor Brown, and two for Paige Lowe for a total of 48. And for the Belfry Lady Pirates, they're led by Anna Bevins, two trays giving her a total of 12, eight for Vicki Hall, five each for Emma Smith and Jamie Hunter, two for Lindsey Mahon, and one for Brittany Champion coming off the bench and a total of 33 so ball game been a game of uh, rebounding and defense Pike Central's uh, been able to control the boards against Belfry and Belfry not been able to not been able to put in the open shots that they've had two girls in a little bit of foul trouble looks like Evan Smith with three and uh, for Russell Pike Central Russell with uh, three personal fouls other than that uh, Nobody in any kind of real danger right now. You you talked about it. I, yeah, you didn't keep the three pointers, but that would have been that would have been very interesting to see the attempts that were made by by Belfry. Uh, they missed a bunch of three pointers in the game. It seemed like every time down the floor that was uh, 
their intention will go down and fire for the three pointer and uh, like we said I guess if that's your game plan you got to start uh, you got you got to keep on shooting them until you until they start dropping but uh, they just haven't been dropping here tonight for Belfry and so we'll see what happens both teams have three or four three pointers each but Pike Central like I said taking a lot less of them and right now they they've lead, they're leading the ball game by the virtue of their rebounding and hustle under the basket yeah, it's 48 33 Pike County Central. We'll take a break and be back with third quarter action in just a few minutes on the Intermountain Sports Network. Gearheart Broadband gets solutions for your small business right. Fiber connects you to the cloud with speeds up to one gig with digital voice, the right video solutions, and local support. Make the right call. Gearheart Broadband. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearheart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearheart Broadband for a great offer today. Oh, you're not going to believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird. We never get hacked. Nope. No, we don't. Sharing a big family moment. Working hard from home. Relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and plume adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit Gearheart Broadband online to learn more. District tournaments. We would like very much to thank these people for their sponsorship. Back once again at Belfry, we've got another half of action to go tonight. Before this is settled, right now at halftime, Pike Central claiming a 15-point lead, and uh, well, Belfry uh, just hasn't had anything to really work for them. Uh, they, we talked before the break there, missing a lot of three-pointers in the ball game, but uh, also uh, not been able to rebound when they do miss a shot. Yeah, that's true. Very few offensive rebounds for Belfry. They've got some defensive rebounds, but, you know, it's usually one and done for them, especially when they're shooting those threes. And it's amazing that uh, the smaller players, Pike Central, Ashley, or Haley Ratliff, I bet she's got 10 rebounds. Seems like she's been all over the board for them. Well, let's see if Coach Gannon fired him up at halftime. As Belfry gets the ball to begin the third quarter and uh, first shot of the third quarter, no good by Hall. And there, just like you said, there's a little Haley Ratliff in for the rebound. It ain't supposed to happen. Little guards ain't supposed to come yeah. in to get all those rebounds every now and then, but not like she's been doing tonight. Belfry just not blocking out at all on the boards. It's Russell down low, too hard, slapped out of bounds. But touch last by Belfry. So Pike Central, like I say, getting all the bounces tonight. Ratliff will inbound the uh, basketball here. Looking deep to the backcourt, it comes into uh, Birchfield in the lineup. And now it's Weddington who drives into the paint. She is fouled. And Looks like it may be on Mahan. What do you do to not foul in situations like that? I don't that? know. <laughs> you stand there, they run into you. That they don't want to call it a charge because it's not that hard or rough, I guess. But I, I don't know. I, I've seen a couple here tonight that uh, the uh, off offensive player just seems to run into the uh, defender there and draws the foul, the second free throw. And missed them both. So Weddington misses a couple free throws here. Down low. 
And Hall has it, no good. So one and done, as you said a while ago. Coleman down the floor, Wellington, she's fouled that time, uh, Hensley. Definitely. Uh, not much doubt there, was it? Yeah, uh, definitely trying to prevent the two points and really had the foul. Second foul on Hensley. But I mean, you know, the coaches will tell you when you're playing defense, just hold your arms straight up. And when you do that, what else can you do when you're just standing there? You're not leaning or anything. Free throw rolls off. So Weddington's missed three in a row. And I, I, I've got her with four out of 11 tonight. Yep. Four out of 12 now. Vicki Hall will get this rebound for Belfry. Still a 15-point game. Hall will... Hold it up now and give it off to Smith over to Bevins. Emma Smith backs it out a little bit. Starters in there right now in the second half for Belfry that uh, began this game. Over to Hensley, down to the baseline of Bevins, right side over Coleman. Good. To uh, cut it down to 13 points, so that's a start. Let's see what happens here as uh, Pike Central brings it down. Ratliff over in the corner to Birchfield across the floor. Horrible pass. I don't know who that was intended for. That's going to be over the, and back, even if she does save it. Yeah, I think so. And I don't think Birchfield didn't know would or would look or Coleman wasn't looking for it either. I mean, she didn't back up any to pick it up. All right. I don't know what uh, Birchfield had in mind there, but the Belfry with another opportunity to cut into that lead here. Emma Smith works into the paint. She'll put up the shot. Had a fairly good look there. Hensley, no good. There's Mahon, and good. Mahon puts it back in. So they hung with their Charlie. Got a couple of offensive yep. rebounds. One of the best looks they've had on the offensive end. Well, that cuts it down to 11 now. So Belfry may be uh, on the road to a comeback here. At least uh, they've started out the quarter. Russell takes the pass and puts up the shot off the rim. Here's Belfry getting the rebound again. Here they go down the, the other way as Bevins gets it off to Smith. She dumps it over to Hall. Wide open for the three. A little too hard underneath. White jerseys. There's the Bevins. Nice hustle. She couldn't catch it. It goes out of bounds, but nice attempt anyway. Yeah. And Paige Lowe will come in as well as Taylor Brown for Pike County Central. Coleman looks like she's a little bit tired right now. Needs a breath of air down on the bench and drink of water as the Rantler brings it down. Russell looking inside. Over to Birchfield, right side. Too hard on the three. She had three pointers, uh, three of them earlier. Russell claims the rebound and she'll go to the free throw line. I think she was fouled. Yeah. Foul on 21, Anna Bevins, her second, team number two, number three here in the half. We've got a timeout called by Pike County Central. I believe it's a full timeout, so we'll take a break. 5.13 to go in the thir third quarter. It's 48-37, Pike County Central. Sharing a big family moment, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds and plume Wi-Fi. Call or go online to learn more. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. 
Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Even halftime, 513 left, and Russell going to the free throw line to try to widen it out a little more. And she got it. Good looking free throw there. It was it, was that her first free throw tonight? First free throw tonight. Okay. Second one's no good, and Belfry finally comes up with the rebound. They, Mahan had it, lost it, but uh, Smith picked it up. Gives it out to Hall now. Back to Smith. She'll back it up a little bit. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Hensley has it over on the wing. Back out to Smith. Smith will uh, give it down to uh, Bevenstow. Back out to Smith. Over to the right side. It goes to Hensley. Hensley wants to go inside. And uh, Hensley hands it back. Vicki Hall down there. She's wanting the ball, but really she's covered up down there. Uh, Smith off to Bevin. She'll go up for the three. No good. Hensley claims the rebound. Back up. No good. Underneath. Back up. And a couple more offensive rebounds for Belfry. It's Vicki Hall puts it in, and she'll go to the line. Three-point opportunity here coming up for Vicki Hall as Taylor Brown will pick up her third personal foul. Uh, Charlie, it, uh, it's a 10-point game. This could make it nine. And it does. Anytime you get it under double double digits, that's always a good sign for a coaching staff. They've cut 11 points off that one-time 20-point lead. 4:25 left here in the third quarter, 49 to 40. As uh, Pike Central with the lead and the ball right now. Well, have almost got underneath it. It's Birchfield driving on the baseline, and she does. Yep. Yeah. Saw her kind of palm that ball and turn it over right there in front of the official. And it's been a seven to one run here to start the second half for Belfry. They could cut it down to seven, maybe even six on this trip down the floor. Smith over to Bevins. It slapped away. Ratliff almost had the steal. Vicki Hall tries to save it. Goes out of bounds. And she'll lose it out of bounds off her. Nine point ball game. 4.02 to go here. In the third quarter, Pike Central 49, Belfry 40. Well, uh, Belfry had an opportunity there. Couldn't capitalize. Now here comes Pike Central with it back. The long three put up no good, and Belfry will have another rebound. So Belfry's starting to rebound better here in the half. Smith still on the run. Stops from uh, about eight feet. Puts it up no good. Slapped around. Hensley comes up with a rebound. She'll go back up, and half hook no good. Might have been uh, better off to pass that one a little bit. Uh, and uh, back to Pike Central is but Hensley put up a shot there and, and uh, I, you know they're working hard they're trying they really hard and, and sometimes they try a little too hard 49 to 40 still it's been that way for the last little bit here 320 left in the third quarter as uh, Ratliff is on the dribble down to low Puts down the dribble and gets it over to Weddington. Weddington in the circle, fires it up way too hard. Russell claims the rebound and no good uh, over the back on Brown. Yeah. He says, what did I do? But that was pretty obvious. Yeah, that, that one's a no-brainer there. Fourth personal foul on Brown, so she'll have to come out as Coleman will return to the ball game. But I think I saw another foul or so inside. Well, I think Russell might have got bodied up a little bit as she went up for that shot. But Yeah, I think Mahan got her out. Yeah. Solid contact there. Of course, now you got, you know, I got to give them credit. Now, they did call the obvious one there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem here because uh, Brown plays a big part. She's the backup center. 49 to 40. Belfry, once again, a trip up the floor. Chance to cut into the lead into Vicki Hall. Dumps it down to Mahan off the glass. Good. Nice little shovel pass, and Mahan collects uh, her sixth point of the night, I believe. Yep, still up. That's a nine to one run by Belfry. Birchfield on the point right now as Ratliff's getting a little breather. Vicki Hall comes in and steals the basketball. Races to the bucket, puts it in. That'll make it a five point game. 32nd timeout called by Pike County Central. 2.33 to go here in the third quarter. Mo, I guess we'd be remiss. We didn't thank our sponsors in this one. Remiss is the worst. For 60th District Tournament Sponsors, Appalachian Wireless, 
the law offices of Vanover Hall and Bartley, Dr. Michael McKinney, Pikeville Methodist Hospital, Glenn Martin Hammond, attorney at law, Seasons Inn, Keene's Home, R.S. Jones Funeral Home, and Kent Carter, Mike Lucas, attorneys at law, and Citizens Drug of Phelps. And Belfry playing well here. They've outscored Pike Central 11 to 1 to cut that lead down to a five point ball game. Well, the fans are starting to live it up a little bit now. They had something to cheer for, those in the red, that is. Uh, as Belfry's making a comeback here. Birchfield out to Low. Rattler still on the bench for Pike Central here. Over to Weddington. Back across to Page Low and down to the corner now. Slapped away. There's another pass. It's stolen. Belfry, Emma Smith off the glass. Good. It's a three point game. Birchfield with the basketball down to the baseline. And another bad pass stolen away. Belfry, Hensley, two on one. Emma Smith, good. It's a one point game. Oh, good call. No, you didn't think so? I thought it was a pretty good flop. I thought that I don't think she actually had position. Oh, well, she might have been moving, but it looked like a lot of offensive contact to me. You said a flop, but. I saw it a little yeah. different than that, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> you make the call yeah. on camera there. Well, at any rate, it's Belfry with the basketball. They've got a chance to take the lead here. Mahan, good. What a comeback. I said several times they were down by 20. Oh. Goes back to Pike Central. Russell on the baseline missed it. Belfry with another rebound and Pike Central's gone stone cold for the floor. Hensley puts it up. Good. First points of the night. It's a three-point lead. Belfry. Wow. <laughs> Pike Central held without a field goal so far in the third quarter. Whatever uh, Coach Cannon told him at halftime, there's the lob down low. Coleman in a lot of trouble. And uh, three-second three call and absolutely a good call there. Good, yeah. good defense. Coleman should have took that ball to the hole. She would have either gotten fouled or got the points, I believe. Yeah, she had the size down there. I mean, that's what you got to do when you're a post uh, uh, person. And she'll, uh, I'm sure she'll hear from the, uh, the coaching uh, staff over here about that. Well, maybe not. She's got to take a bench, uh, seat on the bench. And I thought, sure, they'd uh, talk to her about that a little bit. But... 52 to 39, Belfry with the lead. Somehow they've come back, almost stolen by Ratliff. Loose on the floor, goes out of bounds. A foul on Ratliff, I think, yeah, here. That's what they're going to call. Wow. I don't know about that one, Joe. Yeah, I don't think, I think she lost the ball. Yeah, she, uh, Ratliff uh, almost had a steal there, and I, I didn't, they both went to the floor. Yeah. I think Ratliff knocked the ball loose, and they were both going after it. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. I've agreed with you and just about call, yeah. uh, all night they're long. Call that one on Emma Smith. <laughs> yeah, she, she was pushing off. There's no doubt. They've been jockeying for position all through that timeout. The official standing right there on her, and she took both hands and pushed off. That's a big foul, too. That's the fourth on Emma Smith. Boy, that is a big foul because she's a big part of this Belfry team, that's for sure. Can't ill afford to lose her. Down to the corner of Weddington. Driving on the baseline. Puts it in. Good job by Weddington. I think she might have been held a little bit on the baseline yep. down there. First out of bounds. Goal of the third quarter for Pike County Central. Belfry will get it back, but they'll have to change positions here. Hensley doesn't see the official. He says, come over here, little girl. Yep. <laughs> Toss it in on this side of the floor. 
Vicki Hall will toss it in now. It's 11.7 seconds on the clock in the third quarter here. Belfry by one, stolen, low, good! It's getting exciting here tonight, folks. Almost stolen away it is, but the buzzer, no good, no good. End of the third quarter. Pike Central by one after three quarters, 53 to 52. We'll be back with the fourth exciting quarter after this timeout on the Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. And uh, Belfry's come back. Uh, I will say it one more time, and then I'll not say it again. It was a 20-point lead at one time for Pike Central. Belfry came back and took the lead. Pike Central back up by one right now. This should be a dandy quarter. Three-pointer put up and no good by Birchfield. Emma Smith claims the rebound. He gets it out to Bevins, and Bevins going to the floor. Low dives in, and we've got a tie-up. I'll tell you what. You know, both teams really going at it now. Pike Central has turned up the defensive intensity, but Belfry outscored them 19 to 5 in the third quarter. Wow. Here's the long pass up across the line. Bevins down to the bucket, puts it in. Little spinning move about four feet away, puts it in. Give her 16 on the evening. 54 to 53. Belfry back up by one. Low, right side three, off the rim. Vicki Hall claims it on the other side. Gets it out to Emma Smith. Smith has people all over her, gets the pass away. Up to Hensley. Remember, uh, Emma Smith playing with four personal fouls. Down inside, Vicki Hall loses it, but uh, Bevins is there to save it. Bad pass, and... We'll go back well. to Belfry on that one. I don't know, Bo. They may have missed the foul. It, Emma Smith could have gotten her fifth one right there just as easily as they got the basketball. Well, Belfry will get it in bounds. Been one of those nights. Down to Hensley, two points. Snuck around behind the defense somehow, and nobody saw her. Three-point lead, Belfry. Maybe the biggest lead of the night, and ball is loose on the floor. It will go out of bounds. And uh, Pike Central will get it back. Ratliff in the bounds, and Russell good. So Russell sneaks behind uh, the Belfry defense and gets the out of bounds pass and puts it in. Up across the line, almost stolen. Bevins has it. Kicks it out to Vicki Hall for the 17-footer. Too hard. Mahan chases it down on the right side. Her pass is... Oh! Coach Gannon is really furious now. He thought that was deflected, and that was a strange-looking pass if somebody didn't yeah. touch it. May have been a makeup of one they called over here a while ago, bro. You never know. Yeah, man. If, if, if nobody touched that, who in the world was some Mahan throwing it to? Well, it's uh, 56 to 55. Belfry with the lead, and Coleman has it for Pike Central. The runner in the paint, no good. Mahan will come up with the rebound. He gets it out to uh, Bevins, who's still on the move. Dumps it off to Vicky Hall. Nice pass, and two points for Vicky Hall. And she has 15 on the evening. Now that's the way you play this game, yes. right? Right there. To the right side, Low has it. 58 to 55. 
Weddington with the basketball. Pike Central down by three. Stolen away. Vicki Hall. Those cross-court passes. Hall to the hole. Lays it in. 17 for Vicki Hall now in this game. It's 60 to 55. Certainly the biggest lead for Belfry tonight. Right. The Belfry somehow here in the second half just taking charge of this game. There's a call, and uh, that it will be Bevins. It'll be the third on Anna Bevins. And it'll be Taylor Brown checking in now for Pike Central. She's back in there with four fouls. Ratliff will toss it in. 5.07 left to play in the game. 60 to 55. Low with the three. No good. Kicks off to the left side and Hensley chases down the, the rebound. Up to Smith. Long pass up to Bevins. Lays it up. Oh, she missed it. She gets a rebound somehow. Got it. She was so disgusted that she missed that. She just put her hands on her head, but the ball popped right back to her and she got another opportunity. How that momentum changes and the brakes are falling for the red right now. Blocking on the baseline. Hensley. Yep, it'll be her third. And I'm not sure how many of that makes on the team. I've lost count here, both. It looked to me like Charlie and Hensley just cut off the baseline there, and, and the the uh, Hawk player just dribbled it out of bounds. I, ooh, I, you and I have agreed on most of them. There's one time on that yeah, one charge that is the only charge, time, yeah. but. Uh, We've done some real officiating tonight. Yeah. Slapping it out of bounds, Bevins. Cut off the uh, pass inside anyway. Yep. You know, they're in Pike Central trying to get it down low to either Brown or uh, Russell. Seven-point lead. Who would have thought it that if you looked up at the board in the first half yep. and, and said, well, uh, Belfry's going to have a seven-point lead with 4.30 remaining. Into Birchfield and too hard. Pike Central cannot buy one. Mahan comes down with the rebound. Belfry chance to add to that lead. Smith on the move with the basketball, dumps it off down low. Back out it comes to Mahan, and she gets the high arching shot good. So, uh, she was substituted for quite a bit. Didn't didn't play a whole lot uh, in the first half, really, and got 10 points now. So she's starting to God boom by Ratliff. 64 to 58, a six-point lead now. Down low, wide open underneath. Missed the shot. Kicked out. Brittany Chapman, who had the opportunity down low and couldn't get it to go in. A timeout is called. It's 64 to 58. Belfry up by six. We'll take a break. We'll come right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Gearheart Broadband gets solutions for your small business right. Fiber connects you to the cloud with speeds up to one gig with digital voice, the right video solutions, and local support. Make the right call. Gearheart Broadband. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Three, 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 the time remaining. 64 to 58 right now. Belfry on top of this game, and Pike Central's got to do something to pick it up here, Charlie. Absolutely, Neil. They're getting, they're getting killed on the boards here in the second half. Well, that's a different story. Down low, hit sleeve. Foul inside. Ratliff, I believe, will pick uh, it up. Shea Wedding, 22. Weddington. Okay. I saw uh, Ratliff down yeah. there looking awfully uh, disgusted. And, but uh, you said... Uh, 
what you did about uh, the rebounds here in the second half. Uh, boy, you, you were saying it completely the other way around in the first Se half. 17 to 4 here right now for Belfry. So what's happened? They talk about it at halftime, maybe? Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. I'm sure the coaches had those same numbers, and he's been telling them that you're getting killed. Block out a little bit, girls. There's uh, Jamie Hunter was in there just very briefly. Mahan back in the lineup. I wonder what it would be like with Hunter and Mahan both in there. The second free throw, no good. So Hensley misses two. Pike Central will uh, claim the rebound, and Coleman gets it out to low, and Ratliff has it now as she comes across. That's that uh, very young backcourt, the three-pointer, and that'll be three shots on the line. And, uh, an uncalled-for foul there by Hensley. Well, you know, uh, just about every time anybody puts up a three-pointer, they'll be popped. Yeah. Whatever you want to say. Uh, there'll be some contact, but the official just happened to be standing right there looking right, right at it. Ratliff up there on the stop, misses the free throw. She's had a tough time up there tonight. Five out of ten I've got yep. her for. And timeout is called before the second free throw. We'll see how long it's going to be. A 30-second 30 uh, 30 timeout here. Okay. Let's give a list of sponsors one more time here for the 60th District Tournament. It's Citizens Drug of Phelps. Kent Carter, Mike Lucas, Attorneys at Law. R.S. Jones Funeral Home. He's home. Seasons in. Glenn Martin Hammond, the law office. Michael Methodist Hospital. Dr. Michael McKinney, the law office. The Van Overhaul in Bartley and Appalachian Wireless. And I'll tell you what, both teams really need to hit their free throws down the stretch of this one, don't you think? Yeah, when it uh, when it's this close, you got 316 remaining, and that is uh, going to be a big factor here the rest of this game. And that one's good. Archie's getting three, so another opportunity here. And that one's good. So 14 points now for Ratliff in this game. Long three, no good by Smith. Russell goes to the floor. Now Pike Central, I got blocked out there for a second. Pike yep. Central came up with a loose ball. Russell. Some contact in the paint, no call, and Hensley claims the rebound now. Well, Belfry with the ball, four-point lead. 240 left. Mickey Hall to Mahan. Boy, she was open. She's not going to take it. Hensley, she'll try it from about 16, no good. There's Rattler with another rebound. Comes out of there with it, hustles down across the stripe, dumps it right to the wrong team. Bad pass down to Hensley, and Ratliff may be hurt. The long pass up the floor. Emma Smith gets it on the baseline to Vicki Hall from behind. Coleman with the block, and uh, she'll pick up the foul. She got her across the arm. Good call there. No. Oh. Whoa. Well, I didn't see that now. I saw surely it was Kim Coleman that got the foul. We both saw Kim Coleman try to block the shot. Wow. Hensley good on the line. He was over two. Another one coming up and no good. In there's Bevins. Nobody blocking out for Pike Central as Bevins gets their 20th point and puts uh, the Lady Pirates up by seven now. Low down to Coleman. Let's see. It will be a block here. Bevins. That's her fourth personal foul. So a bunch of fouls in this ball game here, and somebody's going to be fouling out before this thing's over with. It's gotten rough here lately. 202 remaining, 67 to 60. Pike Central with Coleman on the line. A chance to cut into that a little bit here. And it's good. Another one coming for Kim Coleman. And it's good. So 
67-62, Belfry by five. Smith racing up across the line. To Hensley now, back out to Smith, and now Belfry's got to try to protect that five-point lead. Vicky Hall. Of the Mahan, it comes Lee out, and uh, Bevins comes to take it now. Over to Hensley. Back to Emma Smith. Bob across the court. Hall down inside. Bevins, a little hook. No good. Russell with a big rebound and gets it out to Ratliff. Down to Birchfield. Back out to Ratliff for the three. Short. Touch the net, and that's all as it goes out of bounds. Yep. 121 to go in this one, a five-point ball game, and it it looks like that uh, Belfry may be going to walk, walk take away with this one at the end. Belfry with the ball, leading by five, and Hensley trying to chase down the long pass, couldn't do it. It's Weddington running. Uh, she'll put it up, no good. Birchfield will get the loose ball. She'll put it up. She's got it. Three-point game, 58 seconds. After foul here. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but uh, we had a power surge of some kind. <laughs> Ratliff takes up the personal foul. That'll send a Vicky Hall up to the free throw line. Boy, you talk about important free throw here. And she's going to have a chance to think about it as Pike Central is going to call a full timeout. 53, 54.3 left on the clock. 67, 64, Belfry. We'll be back in just a moment on the Intermountain Sports Network. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. gonna believe this what's going on the neighbors got hacked again weird we never get hacked nope no we don't 64 crucial free throw right now at the stripe coming up the one plus one to Vicki Hall and uh, of course if she misses this one uh, Pike Central will have an opportunity to go down and tie it up, but if she makes it, it'll be a two possession game. So we will see here. Hall on the line. And it's good. Four point game. Bonus shot coming up at 68 to 64. Belfry. And no good. Pike Central claims the rebound. 51 seconds. A lot of time. Ratliff. Birchfield across the floor, low, fires the three, boom! Like Icewater, the seventh grader is a chief, put up the three. Yep. 33 seconds, got a foul again here. 30 seconds, now the foul is called. It'll be on Ratliff, I believe. Be her third. I'm not sure Bevins is the one you want to foul. I don't think so. Bevin scores two for two from the line tonight. It's a one-point game, although she makes uh, both of them. It still still will be a one possession, but she misses. And so, Pike Central, Ratliff, down to Birchfield. No good, too hard. They didn't need that. They didn't need a three-pointer there. Oh. Foul called, and uh, Weddington had to foul there, and that'll send the Belfry back to the line. Oh, absolutely, you know. Well, of course, Birchfield has hit a few of those out there tonight. She was wide open, but uh, 
I'm like you. I don't think I'd have took it. I think I'd have tried to work it down low. Wasn't open enough to take a shot like that, though. With the... Now, let's see. What, uh, what's the situation 22. here? Okay. I didn't see Weddington there, so it'll be Mache Weddington. It'll be her third personal foul. Smith on the line. Not been up there tonight. Free throws no good. Birchfield with 15 seconds. One point game. Birchfield had a timeout call by Pike Central. 11.6 seconds left. See what, Bo, let's keep it right here. We don't want to miss a minute of this action. It's a full time effort. We'll go ahead and keep it right here as this one is going to go. As we said, we said earlier, go to the wire, and then Pike Central came out with a big lead. Then Belfry came back, took the big lead. But at the end, they made us look good. It's going to be a barn burner. Yeah, it is a barn burner here tonight in just 11.6 seconds. Pike Central calling the timeout, going to draw something up over here to, to get a play. And uh, just a one-point ball yep. game. Who would have thunk it? That's true. Bo, let's give the sponsors another quick nod. Appalachian Wireless, Law Offices of Vanover Hall and Bartley, Dr. Michael McKinney, the Michael Methodist Hospital, Glenn Martin Hammond Law Office, Seasons Inn, Keen's Homes, and R.S. Jones Funeral Home, and Kit Carter, Mike Lucas, Attorneys at Law, along with Citizens Drug of Phelps. And I tell you what, who do you want to take this shot if you're Pike Central? Do you try to work it down inside, or do you want one of your guards put up the long one? Uh, you got to work it a little bit, try to get an open shot. They've got 11.6 seconds. That's a plenty of time for a couple of passes anyway. And yeah. Don't throw up anything uh, if you don't have to. Ratliff and uh, Good move right there. Mahan picks up the personal foul, and uh, Ratliff will go to the free throw line. Well, that uh, that worked real well right yep. there. Let's see if uh, she can convert at the free throw line. Of course, good foul by Mahan because don't give her the open drive to the basket. She's only seven out of 13 I've got here. Well, let's see now, big free throws here, the one oh, and two one. Two. I, thought she was, I thought she was shooting, didn't you? Well, I thought so. And they're pleading with the officials, but the Both officials, teams, uh, yeah. it Wait doesn't matter. That's scary, we both said that at the same time. We start thinking alike here. We're all tied at 68, and this will be another full timeout. So we'll take a quick break and be back on the Intermountain Sports Network. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Sharing a big family moment. Working hard from home. Relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and plume adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit Gearheart Broadband online to learn more. That's been one of the worst officiated games yeah. I've seen. <laughs> there was no And welcome back to Belfry High School. 8.9 seconds to go, 68 all. And we have Haley Rallis at the line to try to break the tie, though. Well, here's a big free throw. If she makes it, that'll put them on uh, top by one to give uh, Belfry plenty of time to get off the shot. If she misses, of course, it remains tied, and she misses. Mahan rebounds, seven seconds. And let's see, a timeout by Belfry looks like here with 4.9 seconds, so that means they should get it at uh, midcourt, shouldn't they, after this timeout? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it'll go to. We'll just go ahead and keep it right here. Did they get how far up the floor? Did they get with it before they called the timeout? It may come out on the side down here. That's true, and yeah, they're, they're talking gonna, about they're, that. They're there. saying he's going to take it out of the corner, I think. Well, I may be wrong, but uh, I believe that's what he's talking about. Uh, the got up there. there. 
Should have took another step before he called that timeout, I guess. I guess so. It's 68 to 68, though, and what a game. Well, this is it, too, Bo, as neither team has a timeout left. <laughs> the Pike Central uh, crowd getting a little uh, frustration yeah. out here. Yeah, the Belfry cheerleaders are down there doing their thing, and the Pike Central fans have their back turned saying boring up here. So they're having a fun. That's oh, what it's all about. Yeah, it, this is tournament atmosphere right here, Bo. Yeah. That's what you love to see. These blowouts are not a lot of fun to be here with. No riding, no fighting, you know, just good just time. Fun. That's right. Hopefully it'll stay that way. <laughs> 68 all, 4.9 seconds. Belfry has it. You were right. They didn't get it at midcourt. The official says you'll get it right beside the scores table here. As Hensley gets it inbounds. Oh, dribbled across the line. Yes, Absolutely. Oh, big, big mistake. mistake. And that means uh, Pike Center will get it side court. 3.1 second. That's plenty of time to get up a shot here. Bad mistake made by uh, Belfry. Well, you know, it'd be fitting that this one go five quarters because each team has won two of them. Yeah. 1.5. Here's Ratliff. No good. And uh, it's an impossibility to go five quarters, but I know what you mean. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> five periods, I guess. It'll be a dollar and a quarter. A dollar and a quarter. <laughs> we'll take a timeout. We'll return with the overtime after this break on the Intermountain Sports Network. Smart devices make our lives better, but they're also susceptible to hackers. That's why Plume helps identify when a device is acting strange. You mean like talking to itself for no reason? I'm talking to the audience. Sharing a big family moment. Relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds and plume Wi-Fi. Call or go online to learn more. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Over Belfry uh, dodged a bullet there, and here we go. It's Ratliff with it, and she puts it in. So she's saying, well, probably, why couldn't I do that just yeah. a minute ago? But... Pike Central up on top, 70 to 68, slapped away by, well, it was off Bevins and out of bounds. Yeah, I tell you, we talked about it earlier. The Pike Central won the first half, Belfry won the second half, and I guess it's just fitting we decided in overtime here. Now, nothing against Bevins, but it might be a time to get her out of there. She's made two mental mistakes right. here the last little bit. Just Correct. give her a chance to settle down a little bit. Well, she's put 20 points on the board yeah, for you, though. That's true. That's true. But, you know, just for maybe a minute, just to settle her down, just a little while. Into Brown, and good. And actually, uh, Brown was fouled on the shot, but no call, but she got the bucket. What well, a nice pass by Russell down inside, though. Smith over to Bevins, back out to Smith, to the left-hand side to Hensley. Smith now. Dribbling to the right side, gives it to Bevins for the three, missed it. There's Hensley to put it back, no good. And uh, tie up, I thought uh, Brown might foul out there. I was like you, I thought that might have been a uh, over the back call, but the officials disagree. So Emma Smith will step out and toss it in after the uh, possession rule gives it back to the Lady Pirates bounce pass into Hensley, blocked by Brown, playing uh, hard with those four fouls. And uh, it'll go the other way as Mike Central will have the basketball. Yep. You know, good hustle in there by Hensley. She went after that basketball. She just had to be laying out of bounds and she got a hold of it. What he caught on the line there. Although I thought that might have been a tie-up also, but uh, I guess he was saying since she was out of bounds, she couldn't tie it up. That's true. 
72-68. They try to set some picks. Almost stolen, loose on the floor. Low saves it, gets it over to Ratliff. Hard pass all the way through the hands of Russell out of bounds. That's felt. Backsickle dodged the bullet there twice. They just couldn't do it the third time. Four-point game right now. Belfry with 219. Left, uh, Pike Central, rather. 72-68, Pike Central on top. Here in overtime. 207 left as Smith works. Chapman. Hensley. Hensley now. All the way across the floor. Emma Smith, the three. No good. Birchfield claims it. The bounce pass to low. It's no good, but she's fouled by Hensley. And it'll be the fifth on Amanda Hensley, so she'll take a seat with five points in the ballgame. Went one out of four on the free throw line on the night and sets down with five personals. And, and don't know where we're getting it. We're getting some interference from somewhere here, Bo. Yeah, I've noticed that. Hopefully it's not too bad. No good by Lowe. Her first free throws of the evening. And no good again. Loose on the floor. Birchfield tried to tap it out to low, but couldn't do it. And Belfry comes up with a loose ball. Well, low missed a couple free throws there. She hit a big three a while ago, though, and made a big difference there in regulation. Across the floor, Emma Smith. They'll back it out. So Belfry now making them uh, come out and pick them up, I guess. Bevins to Smith in the paint. Scoops it up. No good. A foul. It'll be two shots. Maybe Taylor Brown. If it is, it's her fifth. It is. Yep. So Taylor Brown will take a seat. She only has four on the evening. So we uh, talked about a lot of people fouling out in this one, and that's going to happen in the overtime. Didn't, didn't happen in regulation, but it did uh, in overtime. One for each team is now gone. Taylor Brown and uh, for uh, Belfry, uh, Hensley, Amanda Hensley is gone. And Emma Smith up on the free throw line. Smith is 0 for 1 on the stripe tonight with nine points. Then at 18 remaining, four-point lead. Pike Central, and she missed a big free throw. Another one coming up. Good. Two-point, uh, three-point game, make it. Uh, 72 to 69, Pike Central, the better 10 left. Pike Central with the ball. Low, partially blocked. Underneath, rebounded off by Weddington. Loose on the floor. Weddington scoops it up. No good. Tapped inside. We've got a foul. Uh, it'll be uh, Thompson. It'll be Russell. Uh, Russell, rather. Not, uh, I thought I saw five. It was uh, yeah, 23 Russell that picks it up. You did. The fifth foul on Ashley Russell. I saw <laughs> Okay. That's what you were thinking, though. Sure. Sure it was. She leaves the ball game with 11 points. So that is a big loss there. But uh, Belfry's missing some opportunities at the free throw line with the clock stop. Brittany Chapman steps up. She got that one. Her second point of the night. And uh, now Kim Coleman will check into the lineup. Another shot for Chapman. Can make it a one-point game with a minute left, and does. A lot of rim, but it dropped through. It's 72 to 71. Pike Central, one-point lead in the ball as Rattler brings it down. Gives it down to uh, Paige Lowe all the way across the floor. Weddington backs it out. Bevins. Low fires up the three, wouldn't go, and once again, maybe didn't need that with the one-point lead. Make them come out and foul you. 
If Chapman loses the basketball, a big collision. She put the forward arm out. Let's see if he calls it. He was looking at Vicki Hall. I think she's going to pick it up. And that's only her third, but that will send Mache Weddington to the line. 32.9 seconds. Weddington's had a tough night on the free throw line. Only four out of 12 up there tonight. Missed her last five in a row. Wow. Got that one. They're all. All sins will be forgotten if you hit these down the stretch, though. Yeah, they're all big right now, and she'll have another one. But even if she does make it, it'll still just be a one possession of the game. This is a full timeout with 32.9 seconds. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Saturday at 7. I was looking at the playback schedule. Oh. So I Back once again, 32.9 seconds left to play in this game. It's 73 to 71. The home team in the white is Pike Central here with the two-point lead. And back up on the line is Weddington to try to make it a three-point game. She'll have one more. 14 points in the game. And bounce again. Three-point game with 32 seconds left as Belfry brings it down. Evans drives, puts up the jumper. Good. And a timeout quickly by Belfry here. And this is going to be a full timeout also. 22 points tonight for uh, Bevins in this game as Pike Central leads by one. Tell you what, I'm going to it, go down to the wire. It's going to go down to the wire. Twice here is one point ball game, 24 seconds. Are you Belfry? Do you put them on the line or do you try to keep them putting up a shot? Well, Belfry's uh, trailing uh, by one point. I now just about half the foul here. You would think so. You know, if it were, I would foul early if I didn't get the steal and try to give them, give me time to run offense on the other end if they make the free throw. You know, a couple times we've seen, uh, as a matter of fact, the last trip down the floor, we saw uh, Lowe put up a three-pointer, and we've seen it uh, quite a few times tonight. But when you got the lead and, and the time is on your side, you, you don't put up those shots. You make them come out and foul you. And, Central missed a, missed a shot the last trip down the floor. And we'll see what happens here. Don't want to put up anything crazy is what I'm trying to say right now. Keep, keep control of the ball and don't throw it away or anything, but make them come out and foul you. Ratliff is picked up near midcourt. Weddington, she's fouled. Reach in on uh, Vicki Hall. And put some pressure on Weddington. That's the fourth foul on Vicki Hall. Waiting to hit two in a row after missing five. So let's see if the she can she going to build on that or give Bell for the basketball out. Well, she made two in a row there yeah. and three now. I, I guess that qualifies for ice water in your veins when you miss five in a row and then you can hit three in a row in overtime. Coming up big when you need to. That was and good. She's got the confidence in that stroke, too. You can just see it in her eyes. 13 seconds left. Need three points here. Five Park Central, I fell inside. Don't let her shoot the two. Yeah, absolutely. It was no good and a foul on the rebound. They're going to call Ratliff over the back. I don't know about that one, but uh, no, they're not. Going to go against Mahan. I don't know about that either. I think that's a no call right there. Ratliff splits two defenders and going for the basketball. I don't know. Well, they don't even call it on Rattler. I didn't even see Coleman in there, did you? <laughs> well. Well, Coleman's going to step up to the stripe and try to put it away here. No good. Needs to make this a four-point game if she can, and she does. That'll just about take care of it here. With two seconds, a long three by Bevins, no good. 
77 to 73 as Pike Central is the winner here tonight. Winning the 60th district for the girls. The boys, the winners, and they're part of the tournament. So, uh, Belfry, the runners up for the girls, and Phelps, the runner up for the boys. 77 to 73. We'll be right back after this break on the Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. <laughs> And welcome back to Belfry High School as Pike Central wins it 77-73 in overtime in what was a interesting basketball game. Pike Central took the big lead in the first half, gave it back to Belfry in the second, and then finally at the end, Pike Central hits a couple of shots down the stretch to put it into overtime, and they were able to outscore Belfry in the overtime on the free throw line as they hit uh, five out of six. To, well, actually, five out of seven to put it away. And 17 turnovers on the night for Pike County Central, 13 for Belfry. Pike Central ended up with 35 rebounds on the night. Belfry with 28. For leading scorers for Pike County Central was Haley Ratliff with 17. Well, I'm sorry, Mache Weddington with 19. 17 with Haley Ratliff. 11 for Elizabeth Birchfield. 11 for Ashley Russell. 8 for Kim Coleman. 7 for Paige Lowe. Four for Taylor Brown and two for Tiffany Thompson. And no points bigger than those four free throws down the stretch for Mache Wedding. For the Belfry Pirates, they were led by Anna Bevins with 22. 19 for Vicki Hall. 10 each for Emma Smith and Lindsey Mahan. Five each for Amanda Hensley and Jamie Hunter. And three for Brittany Chapman coming off the bench. Your final again, 77-73. Pike County Central in a nail biter, Bo. Certainly was. Turned out to be a really good half. Didn't look like it was going to be at halftime as a 15 point lead. Pike Central in control. And, but they came out in the third quarter thinking, well, we're in control. And uh, and Belfry made a yeah. great comeback. A nice run. And well, you know, it looked like in the second half, Belfry was going to run away with it there. And then Pike Central came up toward the end, put a couple in to tie it up. Ended up. Uh, Belfry had a five-point lead there at uh, one part of the game, and uh, yeah, to give credit to them at halftime, they came out with a different uh, idea, different game plan, and blocked out so much better. It really turned it around on the boards, rebounding in the second half. Right. And we're going to get uh, a trophy presentation yep, and so forth ceremony. tonight to the uh, Pike Central boys out to tonight of to their uh, street clothes here because they don't have to play anymore. Yep. They won one game, and that's enough. An interesting format, which I'm sure we'll be hearing about all through the postseason. Yeah, the post I can't wait till that thing is changed. I'm sure Phelps is happy to go to the regional tournament, and I uh, want to congratulate them. They played a great ball game, there's no doubt. But it's just a freaky way that this thing is set up, and you can discuss it all day long, and I don't know any other way to do it, really. But uh, Yeah, yeah we, we said discussed it. I know you and I have talked about it. it it's not fair to anybody. I mean, yeah. no way around it. You just, that's the only way you can say it. You know, it's, it's yeah. just as equal. You know, Belfry, and it, you know, if you seed the tournament, then maybe you give the bye to the number two team. But if you've done that, then, you know, it'd still be the same. It'd be Pike Central. Uh, would it, well, Pike Central would have had to buy actually, and it'd been Belfry and, and uh, Phelps playing in the first round. Yeah, that might have been a better, might have been a better way to do it. Yeah. Then, if, you know, then 
if, if Phelps beat Belfry in the first round by Central Beatham, then there'd be no question. You, you got it. You hit on it right there. If they deceded the tournament, that would have uh, maybe answered all the questions. They went with the regular season record and so forth, and and uh, whoever uh, was the top seed should have got the buy. Reward them with the buy, or yeah, that works for me. Actually, so, being now having to buy is not a reward. It's actually a hindrance. No, I mean, you know, it's, it's like uh, we've heard several uh, of the coaches talking about that. If, if you get the buy, the way this regional tournament is setting up, uh, then, you know, the, you, like I said, that's a handicap. Here's the academic awards. Varsity cheerleader Jessica Williams for Belfry will get the first academic award. And let's see. Nancy Casey handing out the awards down there. Amanda Hensley from the Belfry Lady Pirates will get the academic award. And an academic award will go to Belfry Boys Basketball Team member. And the Belfry Boys Basketball Team will be David Curry getting the award. David, uh, there he comes. I'm going to say not in attendance here tonight. He does, he does make it. But I'll present academic awards for will be Phelps. It'll be the Phelps Hornets getting the award. Nicole Smith for the varsity cheerleading squad for Phelps. And don't look like they're going to do an all-tournament team over here this year, Bo. It'll be the academic awards. Yeah. On the Phelps girls basketball team, Santana Prater. Santana Prater from the Phelps Lady Hornets. Award them for the, uh, and from the Phelps boys basketball classroom. Team, yep. Josh Stratton. Josh Stratton will get the award for the Phelps men's basketball team. I mean, deserve recognition for the oh, classroom. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. That's what we're sending them to school for to begin with. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not just to play ball. Now for Pike County Central for the cheerleaders. I guess the girls cheerleading team will be Ashley Newsom. Now for the boys cheerleaders for Pike Central. Alicia Nichols, is that correct? That's what he said, I believe. Yeah. Girls basketball team, Charla Hall, the senior from Pike Central, out with an ACL tear, not able to finish the season for Pike County Central. And to the Central boys, boys basketball, basketball player, Jared Sloan. Jared Sloan. Pike Central may be the most rested team in the regional tournament for the boys. I'd have never got one of these awards. When I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was in the top 100 of my 120 <laughs> class. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could understand that. Next trophy will be presented will be the girls cheerleading trophy. Girls cheerleading trophy. The and runner the runner-up will go to Belfry. Congratulations. I guess this is the varsity cheerleader. I thought they said girls cheerleader, though, didn't they? Must yep. be varsity, though. That's. I would have thought the girls cheerleaders would have come up off the floor there. And before I announce the first place trophy for the girls, that's the girls. Who would like to pick up their score sheets can come by the scores table. After the and the, the first place first place trophy for girls the girls trophy cheerleading. Trophy Pike Central. Pike County Central. <laughs> yeah. Clean sweep for the Hawks on the girls' side now. As they won the cheerleading trophy, and they'll get to cut down the nets as district champions. They're always the most excited trophy winners, though, Bo, or the cheerleaders. <laughs> well, they had plenty of practice. A foul shot award for the girls. Team-wise. Pike Central and Phelps. We'll share the award for best free throw shooting. Well, they must have shot well against Phelps the other night then, Bo. They didn't shoot extremely well tonight. 
And we're waiting on a member of the Phelps girls team, I think, to come up. And what are I guess they have to cut that one down the middle, Bo. They only have one trophy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe they'll share it. They'll, it'll stay at Pike Central for a month and Phelps for a month. Or vice versa. Girls runner-up. Girls runner-up trophy, of course, will go to the Belfry Lady Pirates. Of course, both of these teams do advance to the 15th region. Yep. And I guess the first round games will be played, both of them will be played at Pike County Central now with this new format, which is another, this is not a good postseason for us. I don't like that format either, do you? <laughs> no. That's very unusual too. And of course, I guess the individual awards now giving, given to the Belfry Lady Pirates. You mentioned Pike Central being the most rested, so now they get the regional tournament opener on their home court. Yep. Now the <laughs> the back Central Lady Hogs really looking for those uh, awards, Bose. They're, they're having to hold them back, aren't they? Coach Mark Gannon. Of course, Coach Mark Gannon will get his coach's award here for being the coach of the runner-up team. And of course, Coach Gannon done a great job over here, taking over uh, what three years ago, or three or four. I'm not real sure. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> Pike Central taking the championship trophy home now. I guess their first 60th district championship. This is the first year they've been in the 60th. Yeah. Each player, of course, will get the individual medallion after they take their group photographs here. Of course, you know, folks, Belfry with a slew of those 60th district championship trophies sitting over there in their trophy case for the ladies team. And I guess the next award I would imagine will go to Coach Tammy Tussie as the winning coaches award. And Paige Lowe with a chance to get a bunch of those medallions now out there, the isn't she? The championship coaches play and game ball. That will go to Coach Tammy Tussie. And there is the presentation for Tammy Tussie. As we're just, I guess we've got a few more awards there. I don't know what those are for, but we're, we're about to find out, I'm sure. Uh -huh. As the now we'll present the boys. Oh, I guess the boys tournament trophies. awards. What was I thinking, Bo? First, the boys cheerleading trophy. Boys runner cheerleading runner trophy runner-up. Just going along with you, Charlie. I thought you knew what you was yeah. doing. I mean. Pike County Central will <laughs> get the runner-up <laughs> cheerleading trophy. Yep, we got a 50-50 chance of Not guessing who gets the other. Yeah. Sponsor that would like to pick up. There's four sheets can do so at the scores table. And let's see. The boys cheerleading first place trophy to Belfry. Well, I guess I was in incorrect. Looks like the Belfry varsity cheerleaders have been out here tonight helping the girls team along as they'll yeah. win the championship trophy for cheerleading. So the girls cheerleaders didn't cheerlead. It was the boys cheerleaders that went out tonight for the I, girls. Right? I was wondering well, why somebody was, you know, they wasn't dressed in cheerleading outfit was taking the trophy for the winning <laughs> of the girls, but uh, I've been wrong before. Boys team foul shot trophy. That goes and the boys foul, foul shot trophy points. will go to Phelps. As Phelps sweeps the free throw shooting, don't they? I'm sure there are some representatives for Phelps here to take home that trophy. I figured Phelps team would be here to get their runner-up trophies, wouldn't you? And now the boys runner-up trophy for this district tournament that's presented to the Phelps Hornets. And the Phelps Hornets will get the runner-up trophy. Yeah, they're here. Yeah. Big hand from the Pike Central crowd. I guess is that thanks for uh, saving them that championship game. Maybe. Or maybe a reward for Phelps. Did play pretty well the other night. Yeah, just the recognition that uh, 
even after the tough season that they had, they came out and played their hearts out. The one against Belfry really wasn't supposed to. No, that's true. You know, everybody pre predicted it the other way. And I guess the uh, next award will be for Dale Hunt as the runner-up coach, I would imagine. I said on the radio this morning, though, this uh, Phelps team's got some talent. Yeah. I, I never, I couldn't understand them being winless this year. Right. And here comes Dale Hunt to accept his runner-up coach's trophy. And Pike Central just about to complete their sweep of the 60th District Championship. I guess they're undefeated in 60th district championship play, though. Well, I don't know if you can really say that or not, because the boys didn't play a championship game. And Pike Central takes on the championship trophy here. Be sure to provide the individual Big turnout here, though, for the girls' game for Pike County Central. Is yeah, I didn't expect this bigger crowd tonight, but there was a very good crowd here tonight. And of course, Coach David Rowe, I guess, will get his uh, coach's trophy here in game ball, and that may be the last uh, presentation here tonight. As we'll we'll get that one on camera for you. And again, 77-73, Pike County Abby Central Mono, wins the championship the game here at Belfry. And game ball. That goes to Coach's flag and game ball going to Coach David Rowe, head coach of Pike County Central. And, you know, again, they, they won it. I mean, you know, they, they beat Phelps, so if they do get a couple of nights off. Bo, well, I guess that'll just about do it here for us. You ready? Pike Central impressed me from the very yeah. first time that I saw him play this year. And certainly, uh, no doubt that they uh, were favored. And, uh, no doubt the best team on paper. Yeah, on paper, you you know, they were, you know, believe it or not, they were the third winningest team in uh, regional play. And they will uh, definitely uh, have something to say about the regional tournament. And, yep, yep. You know, they'll, they'll so. definitely be a contender. I know that, uh, I don't know who would be considered the favorite to you this year. Uh, I would say Paintsville since they're undefeated in regional play as of right now. Yeah. But, you know, there's two or three out there. You know, Pike, uh, Pike Central has a shot at it. Uh, Shelby Valley. Shelby Valley as well. I think, uh, well, Eastridge is not yeah. going to be it. They're the team to be reckoned with in this Good thing. rebounding team. Uh, and you got to look at Johnson Central. I mean, they're tough on the inside. Yep. So, so. it's, you know, it's, it's another toss up in the 15th region. Of course, you'll catch all those games on WPRG TV 5 and the Intermountain Sports Network. Oh, another thing. Starting yep. Monday, uh, we do it again for the regional tournament, so be sure to join us for the best coverage. So I guess that'll do it that'll for us, it. Charlie. Yep. For Bo Daniels, Mark Brandom on camera, this is Charlie Pinson saying we'll see you next week in the regional tournament on the Intermountain Sports Network.